so good afternoon this is titus from salam classes today we are going to look chapter number 2 from the poetry section the lesson name is an elementary school classroom for 10th class sorry for for 12th class cbsc before going to this chapter i would like to mention about uh, a short or a brief uh, biographical sketch of uh, the poet this poem is written by or composed by stephen spender he was born in uh, 99 and was died in uh, 1995 he was an english poet and uh, an essayist he left university college oxford without taking a degree and went to berlin in 1930 splendor took a keen interest spender in politics and declared himself as a socialist and a pacifist book by splendor include poem of dedication the edge of being the creative element the struggle of the modern and an autobiography world within world in an elementary school classroom in islam he has concentrated on themes of social injustice and class inequalities that is the short biography of the poet now let's look to the poem so before reading of this poem or before explaining of this poem i would like to uh, take you to the slum for a, a little time before starting this lesson i want to ask you one question have you ever met to a slum child or have you ever been into a slum your answer may be yes or some of your answer may be no but before that i would like to tell you my experience or my view about a slum slum is a place that is most of the time or slum that uh, we may found in big cities a slum is an area where there is lack of facilities like electricity problem is there road problem is there house problem is there and government facilities problem also is there the children of the slum most of the time they have affected several diseases and due to lack of knowledge or due to lack of education the people those who are living in slum they are producing more and more children they are facing a lot of poverty and they are facing a lot of depression because of that region they send to their children for collecting garbage in different part of the cities and uh, selling that by that they would earn their money and they are hesitating to send their children to the school because if their children would go to school the income or the earning will be stopped that is the major problem of them due to that reason most of the children are uneducated 
if there is school in the slum by name only they go to the school but their mind is apart from the school if we look the house of the slum we have normally kacha house pakka house but their house is not like that their house is not like our house they are living in very you know pathetic condition they are living in very uh, how i can explain that in sorrowful condition especially when there is natural calamity they are facing a lot of problem during the rainy season or if there is storm or something else that will be very dangerous or hazardous for them if i mention about their house their house is made of whatever materials we live in a kacha house or in a pakka house but their house is not like our house whatever material they get through that material they make their roof they make their wall or they make their floor that is the condition of the slum surrounding of the slum wherever you look there will be a heap of garbage and everywhere you may feel that bad smell wherever they want they can urine and wherever they want they can make their you know bathroom or toilet etc that is the real condition of the slum so i urge you uh, before reading this chapter you must go to a slum and visit to a slum how the people are living how they are getting education and what kind of insufficient they have and what kind of struggling they have and how they are struggling how they are facing hungry and how they are living you have to observe there now let us enter to the point as previous i told you the name of this lesson is an elementary school classroom in a slum there are four stanza there are four stanza stanza number 1 is explaining the condition of the slum children what kind of condition they have we may discuss that very clearly and uh, in second stanza we may see a school that is inside of the slum and how the school is what kind of color the school is and also inside of the classroom what things are placed we may see that in second stanza then we come to third stanza in the third stanza he says very clearly means the poet says very clearly all the things that is inside of the school classroom that is meaningless for the slum children because their life is only inside of the classroom and their world is inside of the slum or the world is the classroom only then fourth stanza he appeals or he urges to the government officers politicians social workers to help them and remove their property and uh, remove their pathetic condition and remove their uh, sorrowful condition miserable condition and all the socialist and all the uh, you know politician they should come ahead to help them there is a you know big gap between them and us we need to 
remove the gap that is written in a uh, fourth stanza so let us look first stanza in this stanza the poet here describes the condition of the children in a slum school how the children are suffering how the children are fighting how the children are struggling for their food and how they are facing to the hungry the children in the class are far away from the world abounding in nature boundaries and the brighter aspects of life their world is instead full of extreme poverty and the harass realities unlike other school children who are usually energetic and uh, lovely the children are uh, appear withered and lifeless the children look pathetic they have pale faces and uh, their hair is unkempt falling all over their face making them look like rootless weeds the children of the slum are also unwanted in society just as weeds are unwanted in the garden they are always posted they are just like unwanted weeds in the garden if we look their face hair unkept scattered here and there and uh, you know that uh, most of the time they don't use soap or oil to size their hair and uh, because of that is only the hair come on to their face and if you look their face that is full of pell that is full of pell and their body that is absolutely skinny the bones are peeping out you can observe you can see or you can count it very clear and very easily in this stanza we may look some children how they are so let me explain you in the classroom there is a tall girl her head down she is very depressed maybe due to is uh, extreme poverty family uh, useless or physical and mental exhaustion the boy who is sitting in a corner is very thin almost like paper due to malnutrition you know malnutrition we are getting food that is regarding a balanced diet or that is full of nutrition but here the children of the slum hardly once a day they get their food hardly once a day they get their food and that is also without having proper nutrition suppose they have chapati and with that chapati they uh, use only onion for their curry and sometimes i have seen there the children just uh, you know biting chapatis and dropping here and there that is their food if we eat chapati we must have curry we must have dal we must have fish we must have egg or we must have chicken whatever etc but they don't use such kind of nutritious food because of that reason only they are always affecting with malnutrition and that leads them and that leads them to getting various diseases we looked one girl one who was sitting just like had down condition and we looked another boy 
one who was very thin and very uh, you know that skinny or just like he was a paper his eyes just like a rat's eyes means very clearly he can see that out of the face out of the face the children normal children they have a lot of enthusiasm and they have a lot of energy but the slum children they don't have enthusiasm and they don't have much or more energy that is the condition of the slum children so this suggest his time nature and search of food and the security about the second child as he was thin and he was just like a skin person so that shows about his hungriness how he is dying for hungry how he is uh, you know uh, uh, the dying for food yet another boy in her of his father twice the digits there is another boy one who was in the classroom he possessed a digits that was in his father means generation by generation they are suffering i think similar digits what their parents have the same condition here a child has and he has possessed his father's digits the name of the digits here is written a uh, twice digits and uh, he has sustained growth and sitting at his desk with his twice bones he is a living example of his father noted digits you know there is a digits called noted digits that is come from his father that has come from his father there is no enthusiasm in him while the children from well of families are held to the wealth and the uh, uh, prosperity of their parents the slum kid inherited the misery poverty and disease of their parents that is the condition of the children we can we may see another boy another character a sweet natured boy who is sitting at the back of the classroom and dreaming of squirrels playing game on trees he was sitting in the classroom but his mind is out of the class his mind is out of the class he would have prepared to be out of this classroom and in the open this speaks to the dull and uh, monotonous atmosphere in the classroom which falls to attract him that means there is no attraction in the classroom there is no attraction in the classroom even they are in the classroom but their mind is out of the class they are depressed and they are thinking about their food that is the condition of slum children so tomorrow we will look at uh, stanza number 2 3 and 4 thank you